ladies and gentlemen and children of the planet Earth, this is part one of a multi-parted series because you have never seen footage of New York Harbor like this before. Come on the amazing journey with Captain Thomas Fazio and his amazing tugboat through New York Harbor in the 80s when the World Trade Center still rose above the Hudson River and the QE2 just happened to be coming into the harbor for the day I decked for dear old dad. Yes sir, ladies and gentlemen, you're in for a real treat. This is the QE2 coming into New York Harbor sometime could have been back in 1985. And this is an up close and personal view of the QE2 when we passed by it less than 200 feet away. What you're going to hear in the background are the roar of the engines. have the Goodyear blimp flying up in the lot, top left hand corner of the screen. Uh, the World Trade Center should be coming into sight along with the Statue of Liberty momentarily. And that's the skyline of Lower Manhattan nice shot too. between the Statue of Liberty and the Verrazano Bridge. And those, of course, are the World Trade Centers. And at that point, I will let you view the video for its entirety. Radio traffic off the tugboat. see the the back deck of a tugboat standard construction tugboat and what it looks like not only in the summer but in the winter the water washes over the deck of the rear of the tugboat all the time on the lower center of gravity vessels and you are actually working in the water while it washes across the deck 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, because that is the type of vessel or the way this particular vessel is designed. I think that was an aircraft carrier in the background, Statue of Liberty, left hand side, a fake ferry ride that you can take around the course of Manhattan. Once again, the aircraft carrier in the background. Those are four inch lines that you would have to deal with to make up to a scow or a dump or, or a rig, any type of rig. There's two inch, three inch, four inch lines. And if it was 20 degrees below zero, that would be frozen ice on the deck and you would have to go out there with a chipping hammer and chip the ice off the deck or with an axe and axe a piece of ice off the deck so you could get to the lines 
that were frozen solid so you could throw the lines onto a bit or a cleat and make up to another moving or non-moving object. And here is my dad running the vessel itself, Captain Thomas Fazio. This is the boat I built, and this is my dad running a boat called the Wishing Well that I built when I was 18 years old from wooden plants. That's the trestle in Howard Beach, Queens, New York. And we are headed over to Tombstone Beach. Could be 4th of July, 1985. I don't know. We have the dog with us as well. The big Z load. That's my old house in the background. And there's the Z load dog, aka Z2. That's the old North Channel Bridge. You know Ronnie Call hit that bridge a couple weeks months ago? Ronnie Call hit that bridge. Okay. Running after the birds. <laughs> we would let my dog out on one end of Tombstone Beach and make him run for two or three miles down towards Broad Channel and then we would head in the other direction and he would run in the other direction and that's how he got his exercise. Okay. Through the water, chasing the seagulls. Here he comes. <laughs> he could do this for hours. Literally run like that in the water for hours. That is the A train coming from Rockaway, headed towards Queens. The dog is searching for seagulls. And there's the boy swimming to shore. That there dog could swim gentlemen. four or five miles. Stephanie's feet, and he's on his way to shore. He doesn't know it yet, but he has to swim all the way to shore. And that boy, <laughs> that boy looks tired. He should chase birds. Yes, he does. He's not paddling the way he normally does. There he is, the big guy, the boy. I hope he makes it. I hope he makes it. into the Jamaica Bay and cross the bay which was almost one mile across in the middle of the winter. And this is the end of part one.